Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you guys see the title. We're going to be jumping in to the March Lux box from BoxyCharm. I'm going to be doing a full unboxing in here and there are actually a couple duplicate items that I already own, which means I'm going to be doing a giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, make sure to like this video, comment down below with your favorite item that you see in the box, and like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. As long as you're doing all those three things, you will be entered to win the giveaway. So as we go through the video, whenever I pull out an item that will be in the giveaway, you guys will be notified. So by the end, you'll know exactly what's coming. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe, enter the giveaway, and let's jump right into the box. So my base is already done, except for the items I need from the box. So first item, we're just going to open this up. The theme card for the month, so it is Boxy Charm Pretty Edgy. So first item out of the box is actually going to be the first item that I am going to be putting in the giveaway. I already received this a couple weeks ago in PR. This is the PMD Facial Cleansing Tool. I did do a full video and demo on this, which I will link above but I already have it. So the first giveaway item is going to be the PMD Cleanser. PMD Clean is a smart facial cleansing device with over 7,000 vibrations per minute. Our sonic glow technology not only ensures a deep cleanse, but provides a way to lift firm and tone problem areas for a more youthful appearance. This retails for $99. The next item out of the box is from Sol de Janeiro, which is the Brazilian Bum Bum and Coco Cabana Cream Duo. This duo of Sol de Janeiro's iconic body creams carry, comes complete with the Bum Bum, which will visibly tighten and has a pistachio and salted caramel scent. And then the Coco Cabana is 72 hours of hydration with coconut cream and orchid with toasted praline. The retail together duos for $15. So they're not claiming this is like some exorbitantly expensive product. These are baby sizes, but the duo is a $15 value. I do actually have both of these already in full sizes, so that's going in a giveaway as well. What I will say is I love this one, I don't love this one. For me, and correct me if I'm wrong, this one I think smells like popcorn. I don't know why, all I can smell is popcorn. This one I am obsessed with, I've used the body wash, they now have a shampoo and conditioner which I'll be trying out. So, second giveaway item. The third item out of the box is the first one we're going to demo from Tarte. This is the Tardiest Pro Remix Amazonian Clay Palette. So the packaging is really pretty, but I'm gonna show you guys the inside while I read about it. So I'm gonna hold it that way. Ooh. <laughs> Prepare for an expression explosion. We are passionate about pigment and the sequel of our OG Pro Palette came to play. Rich, vibrant, 20 shade superstar was formulated to celebrate all forms of art and expression. It is ready to rock your world and remix yourself. This retails for $49. This is scented like clean vanilla, so I'm very happy with that. I feel like I keep doing either super bold or super like neutral looks. So I'm gonna do like a combination of the two with this and do something that's like neutral on top with a bold lower lash, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna grab a shadow brush and I'm going to start by jumping into this shade right here, which is gonna serve as our transition shade. And I'm going to just pop that right in the crease. I love a nice neutral gray toned brown for a transition because it does exactly what I want a transition shade to do. You'll notice once I put that in, it doesn't even look like I have eyeshadow on, it just looks like that is the crease of my eye, which is what your transition shade should do. Before I jump into the next shade, I am gonna zoom you guys in. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that same shade and take it a little bit higher and lower, just so that this can serve as both our transition and some extra definition. From the looks of it, there's only three matte shades in the palette. Neutral brown, black, and bone. And the rest are all shimmer, so that you can really like play with shimmery tones. I love a palette like that. First off, because you really get to play with pops of color. Second off, because I'm going to show you, I'm going to take that same brown and just build it up to see how well it builds. But because of that, the neutral brown, white, and black shades can really deepen and smoke out any other color so that you can make all of these work together. 
So from a color standpoint, this palette is very smart in how it's put together. Next on the fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into the black shade and I'm gonna take next to nothing. I'm going to barely tap into my brush, tap it off and even like tap the back of my hand so there's even less. And I'm just going to like two or three times going back and forth stamping the eye just to darken it up a little bit. And once I feel like there's not a lot of color left on the brush, I'll just do one quick circular motion. And then jumping back to the other brush, just blending it out. For the lid, I'm gonna use a brush to start. And I'm gonna take the shade Splatter right here, which in the pan looks like it could be silver, it could be green, and it could be like stone colored. So I'm going to spray this with a little bit of an illuminating setting mist, and I'm going to take that on the lid. The green's not really coming around in person or on camera. It's coming a little bit more taupey, which I'm actually very happy with because I think that's gonna pop very nicely with the color I'm gonna put on the lower lash but it is beautiful and the formula is super metallic. There is zero fallout and I am really packing it on. Going in with a pointy brush and I'm just going to trace the socket and then going into a little bit of the brown and black mixed together, but mostly brown, I'm just going to blend the outer corner into the lid shade. On actually my face highlight brush, I'm gonna take the shade Inspiration and I'm going to hit up the brow bone. That is actually quite vibrant. That is even more vibrant than I wanted that to be. I just messed this whole thing up. Don't worry, we can fix it. I promise, I hope. I'm gonna jump into a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend all of that to start. Then I'm gonna go into the bone white shade and I'm going to just blend in between the transition and that over the top highlight. Taking a tiny bit more of the brown, just gonna blend in between since I basically just messed that up with the lighter color but now that I know how vibrant that shade is I'm gonna take that shade inspiration and I'm gonna highlight the inner corner and I'm going to yeah that's beautiful I'm going to pull it onto the very inner portion of the lid and I'm actually gonna feather it towards the lower lash and then we're gonna blend that into another color in a second. All right, I'm gonna grab a liner that's gonna give away exactly what color I'm gonna use. And I'm going to throw purple in the waterline. Going into a pencil brush with the shade Mashup down here, the purple shimmer. I'm going to buff that right over the liner. Once it is on the liner, I'm gonna take it on that brush again and I'm just going to pull that shade down a bit because I don't want it to just be in the waterline. I actually want to run it across the entire lower lash. See the difference? Grabbing my packer brush again with a little bit of that same brown shade that we've been using, I'm just going to connect the outer lid to the lower lash. Taking a little bit more black, I'm just gonna add a little bit to either of the outer edges because I feel like it needs a little bit more depth out in this area. Now because of the way this is translating, I do wanna try a little bit of the shade right here, Flow, right there, which is a little bit more silvery and I'm just gonna use that to blend the lid shade into the inner corner. And I'm gonna take that dry, not wet. Yeah, much better. I know that it's subtle what that did, 
but in person that just kind of tied the whole thing together so that the purple didn't look so out of place. All right, I'm gonna pull you guys out, throw on mascara, and I will be back to go into the next item in the box. All right, so the next item out of the box, this comes from Elizabeth Mott. This is the Show Me Your Cheeks blush. It is a super creamy, sexy powder blush. Long lasting formula goes from day to night. It is perfectly natural and flattering. Infinitely blendable and bold, but never overpowering. Iridescent glow for healthy, infused cheeks. This retails for $23, and mine is in the shade Peach Pink. Are you peach or are you pink? I do not have any blush on yet, so I'm going to take a little bit of this and hope I didn't take way too much. Not at all. Okay, so it's a little bit of either a sheerer formula or there's a top coat that, you know, in the beginning, it doesn't really put much down. Now I'm layering it and it is definitely a sheerer formula. So if you either don't love blush or you find that blush gets overpowering too fast, I think you're really gonna like this. You see how it has that shine on the cheeks? This is definitely very similar to NARS Orgasm because I'm definitely getting blush but it is giving me like an iridescent gold highlight on the cheek where I actually am going to probably skip highlight because I don't think I need it. I think this gives me a nice healthy blush and highlight in one. Actually, because this is a little bit more on the glowy side, I'm going to go into a matte blush just so that I can kind of add a little bit more rosiness to the cheeks. I really like this, but because it's so highlighty, I do feel like I need to add a little bit more blush to the cheeks just so that it's a little bit more rosy. The next item out of the box is actually a repeat item. I have gotten this in a box deluxe before. However, the one thing I will say is because I'm on PR and they send me a box, they don't track like an account for me. So most people, if you're a subscriber, you won't get a second item that you've already received, or if you do, you can always let them know and they'll send you another item. Not the end of the world because this is actually something I do love. This is the Sponge Olay Body Wash Infused Buffer. It retails for $16 and it is in the, sh in the shade. In the scent French Lavender. It is, I'm not even going to read it, I know what it is. It is basically a loofah that you run underwater and you squeeze and it is preloaded with a body wash. And it scrubs and buffs and exfoliates your skin on your body and it is beautiful. So I cannot wait to jump into this because I already know I love this product because I have used several of them in the past. The next item out of the box has already gotten a dedicated video. So this is going in the giveaway. It is the BoxyCharm Hello Charmer palette. This one's going in the giveaway. This is the one I have already used because I've already done my eyes and I don't need two eyeshadow palettes. I am not going to be using this today. However, I will link the video where I did use this. The formula is beautiful, it works really well, and I love that my Facebook group, BoxyCharm Beauties, is on there. I'm gonna give you guys that plug I do in every BoxyCharm video. If you find a product in your box that you're not in love with and you wanna sell it or swap it, check out BoxyCharm Beauties because that's going to be the best way to jump on, sell it, trade it, find somebody who's looking for a different shade. Say there was another shade of the blush and you want one that's a little bit more coral, well, Go on the group, see if somebody else has it, and see if they're looking to trade. They do have the palette retailing at a $39 price point. I don't know if you can buy it outside of BoxyCharm, but that's what it is. Now, the next item is another repeat item that I have received before. This is the Appeal Cosmetics Gel Liner. It is a long-wearing, waterproof formula for lips or eyes. Wears up to seven hours without having to reapply. Uh, retails for $21, and it is in the shade Stripped. I'm dropping this in the giveaway because I personally don't love the formula. I find that things that are good for the lips or the eyes, I'm not a fan of. So it's just one more item to drop into the giveaway. So we can jump right into the last item in the box. The last item comes from NARS and this is the Power Matte Lip Pigment. Mine is in the shade Low Rider. Potency and precision, the ultimate power couple. Powerful concentrate of our most powerful matte yet. The Fluid Pigment Complex Liquefied Pigment into a Zero Gravity Fill introduces the Infinite Matte Color Saturation with Ultra Flexible Long Lasting Wear. Retails for $25. I actually do have this in the shade Superwoman, which is a beautiful red. But I'm going to be applying this one today because this is the one that came in my box. 
Because of the formula and the applicator, I do actually find I don't typically need to line my lips with this. Oh, that is like watermelon pink. That is not typically a shade I go in with. It is not a shade for the faint of heart. Okay, so the lip is on. I can tell you right now, I mean, it smells beautiful. I love this formula of lip. I will never wear this color. This is like flamingo pink. Like, I'm gonna put another little bit on there just in case it's not vibrant enough. Do you see how highlighter pink this is? Definitely not a color I will ever wear. So that's gonna be a miss from me. If you love colors like this, I really do think you could enjoy this. However, not a color for me. That's gonna end up going to a friend of mine who might appreciate it more than I do. Okay, so I am not loving this lip. All right, I'm gonna go change out the lip to the same formula in a different color that I already own, and I'll be back to talk about the final everything summing up the box. All right, so there is pink lipstick all around, and I'm not even gonna waste my time cleaning up because as soon as I'm done with this video, I am washing my face. So the one thing I will say is this is the same formula. I do love the NARS lipsticks. It's just this color, I looked like a clown, not for me. That being said, overall, this box, which is a purchase price of $50, has a retail value of $287. So you are getting an amazing value for your dollar. And the best part all is that if you don't love a product, you can always swap it, gift it, or put it up on BoxyCharm Beauties and do something with it over there. I am going to just go through and round up the products. So first, the palette from Tarte. I actually really like the way the look turned out. I am having a little bit of an issue where my left eye is tearing, but that is a Brett problem, not a palette problem. I decided to film two videos back to back and then do a third with a third eye look so my eyes are a little irritated and that's what I get for putting on three faces in one day. But the palette performed beautifully, definitely a win for me. The Sol Gennaro, which is going in the giveaway, I am happy to see in there. I do love the products, so it is a win for me there too. The Hello Charmer palette, I got a whole dedicated video. It is a beautiful product, works out really well. I do think that you get some nice pops of color and some nice neutrals. I don't really think I love that there's two eyeshadow palettes in the same box. But that being said, that's a personal preference thing. I would have rather this had been a cheek palette or something that I could have gotten more on one look out of, as opposed to a second eyeshadow palette that I could have done on its own. But I don't really like using two palettes for one look. The facial cleanser, I have a whole dedicated video on. I have been using this for weeks and I'm a huge fan of it. Probably my standout item in the box. The NARS Power Matte, you guys know, love the formula, hate the color. This pink made me look like a clown. If you like watermelon pink lipstick, and you pair it with the right eye look, and it could be so pretty, and it could be so chic. I don't think I am the type of person to pull that off. The Elizabeth Mott Blush, you guys are definitely going to be seeing again, because I love this shade. I think it gives just the right amount of glow to the cheeks, and it's not super over the top. It's definitely sheer and buildable, and I love that glow it's giving me. Like, I didn't even use highlighter today. The Sponge French Lavender Body Buff, again, a product I've used in the past and I do absolutely love. So glad that's in the box. And the Appeal Liner, take it or leave it. I'm not a fan, but it's all personal preference. So I'm going to remind you guys one more time, if you want to win these five items, the PMD, the BoxyCharm Palette, the Appeal Liner, and both of the body lotions. Again, like this video, comment down below with what you are most excited to get your hands on, and subscribe to my channel and you will be entered to win. Thank you guys again and I will see you next time. Bye.